Good team exclusive and welcome back to some more FIFA 21 content. Today we have some new uh, new content and so of course the title uh, probably does let you know we've got some uh, team of the week upgrade packs. We've got a 50k pack in store and before I jump into that I want to have a quick look see if there's any objectives just to see because you never know EA may have treated us with uh, something to actually play for this week. Looks like that is a big fat no. Okay, so there's nothing in objectives to play for, but there is new SBCs and probably new promo packs. So, uh, in the way of SBCs, of course, they've got the Alexandro, but we now have a five goals in uh, objective, which is only one requirement. It gets you an untradeable 50k pack. Again, it's like the big problem with it is it's untradeable. I don't see why they keep forcing untradeable. Well, I get why, but it it's. I feel like it's slowly killing the game, or at least killing the market. Um, they're obviously trying to focus on, on making you spend points and buy packs and what have you, but like just giving you untradeable packs, it, it cycles off the, you know, the fact you've got untradeables, so you then feel like you're completing objectives or SBCs rather for free, and then it gives you the false representation that you're actually doing it for nothing, whereas actually you're, you're still spending, you know, the player values, they're just untradeable. So, it's pointless but anyway it's 50k packs so that's all right and then you've got team of the week upgrade which i've done a few i haven't been able to do very many because uh, a lot of my 83s have, have gone now but you do need an 83 rated squad 50 chemistry um it's not very difficult really not very difficult you don't need me to show you how to do that i'm sure you're more than capable now for this one you needed one argentina player um two players in the same league one uefa champions league common or rare player Six rares, 77 rated, 95 chem, not very difficult. Um, yeah, I probably could have got away with using other players, but I I don't know. I just found it was easier just to build kind of a full one nation team. Um, you probably could do it by, you know, having strong links or perfect links from, you know, centre back to the goalkeeper centre back and whatever. But this is how I've done it. I uh, just found it a little bit easier. All of these players are untradeable, as you probably expect, because that's all we get in this game is just untradeable players. And uh, yeah, of course, the. Um, Champions League player is Lamer at right mid, so easy as you like. We'll complete that and we'll jump over to the store to have a look at what packs we've got because we've, of course, got the 50k pack and I've got three untradeable team of the week packs to open. So, so we've got three in store. I just want to have a quick look. Of course, there's promo packs in store 45 and 25, utter garbage. So, so open. let's start with our. Start with our 50k pack, why not? See if we get into the nice. What are the chances we're, we're going to get an 82? What are the chances? It's actually a walkout. I take it all back. Take it all back. It's going to be England, CDM, Jordan Henderson. I mean, I guess that's not bad. I mean, it's untradeable, isn't it? But it is a walkout, so I can kind of eat those words about getting an 82, but... Holy moly. Okay, we don't need to see that. Um, Jordan Henderson, not terrible. Don't get anything else. Wow, that's literally it. He goes for... He goes for about 15,000 coins. So I guess that's better than the kick in the bollocks. But uh, that's, yeah, about about it. Okay, so apologies about the jump cut. But I just wanted to see if I could build one more just for the, uh, for the content. Um, and we did. We managed to obviously put... Um, uh, Henderson in the SBC, get rid of him because I'm never going to use him and obviously I can't sell him. Um, I did want to see also while I was doing that how expensive some 83s are and uh, like Castiles, I bought him for 1.5 so not very. Uh, let's have a look how much Vertonghen is. So Vertonghen's going for about 2.5 so he's not really that expensive. I generally did think um, you know 83s would be a little bit more expensive but doesn't really seem to boost them. I, I thought it might be quite good having like an 83 rated SBC for, um, you know, players' prices and all that because they seemed quite low at the moment or before these SBCs. And now they don't really seem to be much more expensive. So maybe it's actually done nothing. But anyway, let's jump into these packs, see what we get. Uh, guarantees a team of the week player from week one to week six. Now, I don't remember exactly who there was, but there were some nice team of the week. So, you know, if we can pick out a walkout, I think we could be uh, we could be in the money. If not, we uh, probably won't be. But first one is going to be a walkout. Let's go. Oh, big ups. Come on. Give me German. 
Centre back. Ooh, who's that? Klosterman. That's not bad, to be fair. I mean, yeah, oh, I don't know, to be fair, actually. I did forget eight, uh, 84s and above were, were walkouts, so kind of uh, kind of depressing. But either way, that's not too bad, I suppose. Cl uh, not even Klosterman, was it? It was Holstenberg, sorry. The uh, I think his position changed in the inform, but um, either way, that could still be wrong. I don't actually remember. I don't know what I'm talking about. Either way, that is still a half-decent centre-back. Bit slow. It's got okay passing. Short passing's all right. Long passing, a bit, bit meh. Short power's okay. Long shots, I mean, for a centre-back, it's not bad. Um, but he's got good ball control, good reactions, good defending, good physicals. So, for the first one, that's not awful. You know, it could be a whole lot worse. So, second one. Can we pull out another walkout? Highly unlikely. We don't. Obviously, it's a board. Obviously, it's a team of the week. Chilean striker. MLS. Mora. Mm, okay. Not not really what you want to see. Not really what you what you want to see. But uh, yep, that's untradeable. Nice. Already got him. You love to see it. You love to see it. Out of all of the players I could have got, sixty six or or more. Uh, you get a duplicate. But third one's a walkout. Come on, somebody big. Let's go. Belgium. Goalkeeper. Oh, I thought that was Courtois. Oh my god. Eighty five though. 85 inform Castiles. That's not awful. That's not awful. I mean, it's yeah, unusable again. Unusable. Really, is the risk you take with doing these is um, you run the risk of just getting really random players, and that's the problem. But I wanted to, I wanted to try some, just see how they, how they were, and uh, so far they've actually not been too bad. But last one. Come on, finish off with a big, 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 big player. Come on. It's not a walkout. Damn. Damn. Brazilian striker. Is that okay? Uh, Camilo, Camilo. Literally no idea. Literally no idea who that is. And he's another duplicate. That's you love to see it again. You love to see it. All right. So we've done one more, one last one for the video, just to see how things have gone today. I mean, it was really just an experiment to see how good or bad these actually were going to be and, and they're not terrible again you've got you know a selection of week one to week six so like you know i don't know how, how many exactly would be uh, off the top of my head but it, you know it's going to be at least 66 players plus and what we if we say at least half of those are going to be non-walkouts at least that's non-84s then um actually probably more than that probably about 75 are probably you know 75 percent of those players are going to be less than 84 rated so uh, the, the chances you've got of getting somebody, you know, big like Messi or, or Bruno Fernandes or Courtois or something like that is very slim. Um, and the chance of getting somebody 84 plus or 84 rated is still quite high. So, you know, last one, it's not going to be a walkout, but, you know, it is what it is. New Zealand, is that? Striker? Brilliant. Wow. I mean, it's just what I wanted. 78 rated Taggart. Oof. He's going straight in my team. AKA the bin. Um, brilliant. Wow. I mean, yeah. So there you are. It's from the Korean League. Uh, I think that really goes to show kind of um, what these actually pay out. So it, it's up to you whether or not you want to do them. Yeah. If, they were, if they're tradable, I would probably just sell them. It's really not worth it. Uh, obviously, you'll probably, again, get a very skewed opinion on, on Twitter and social media of people who, who get really lucky. And then you might think, oh, I might be able to pack Ronaldo or Messi because this person packed it, but it's not how the game works, sadly. Um, but either way, okay, so before we end the video, just got word of breaking news that was a uh, brand new icon that was added into the game. And I believe we actually now have David Beckham is in the game. Holy. Wow, okay. So we've got 87... I think that's his only two cards that they've put in the game at the moment. So we've got an 87. Oh, wow. Let's have a look in the concept. So obviously, he's not going to be in uh, in the uh, transfer market. But let's have a look so we can find him on the concept. So send him to the club. I literally, I had no idea. I don't, I didn't even see anything that was, uh, that came out about this new icon. 
Because I know they did it with uh, Raquel May, but um, yo, this is this is one that's been asked for a long time. So, 92. Why is he not showing up in the concepts? That's really odd. Does it have to be... Uh, no. I mean, he's definitely in the game. He's on the database. But, um... I can't seem to bring it up on the concepts. Uh, oh, he has got an 89 as well. I missed that one. So he's got an 89 and 92 weight. So they've put primes in the, on the store as well. So... David, so he's got 92, he's got 89, and an 87. Oh, wow. I wonder if he is... I'm going to have a quick look on... Um, let's have a quick look on Footbin, uh, just to see if he's been put on... Hopefully that's... Let me just check that's recording. I'm actually not recording the right one. There we go. Right, so um, let's have a quick look, see if he's on... It's not on the database on uh, Footbin either, so no idea. I, I was trying to see if I could find out what his stats were going to be, but um, he doesn't seem to be on the database, so I, I can't actually um, I can't actually bring him up. Bit of a shame. Bit of shame. Let's have a look. See if his eighty-seven is in the concept. It's not. Okay. Really odd stuff. Real odd stuff. Uh, I highly doubt any of them was on the market already, but see if I can find his 87, which you never know, may may well have been packed. It hasn't, so no idea. But anyway, just wanted to bring that to you before the video ends, uh, that apparently there's a new icon, David Beckham, in the game. I do believe they've now actually put in... They have put in the primes as well. So primes are now in the database as well as a as a new icon david beckham i don't believe they've dropped any new other icons besides that but if they have of course i'll bring that to you when i can either way hopefully you have enjoyed this video uh, hopefully it's been somewhat uh informational for you to maybe do or do not do these team of the week upgrades again they're all right i mean they're a bit of fun so it's really it's not hurting anybody again i just think if you're using tradable players you're probably better off just selling them if they're untradeable why not? Go for it. You might pack something big. Who knows? And then you can post it on Twitter and then flex to everybody. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. But hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do drop it a like. That'll be very, very much appreciated. Uh, if you like what we do around here, um, please do consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already and become part of the exclusive family. But with that said, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.